Hello, I'm uh, Florence Westergaard and uh, today I want to talk about uh, artificial intelligence and how to overcome gender bias in AI. Uh, as we've seen, artificial intelligence is really all around us, in uh, from uh, self-driving cars and drone to virtual assistants and even software that can translate or invent. Um, AI now has a tremendous impact on the individual and our society. It affects our sense of privacy, our notion of ownership, our consumption patterns, the time we devote to work and leisure, and how we develop our careers, cultivate also our skills, meet people and nurture relationships. So, Maybe to start, we can review uh, what uh, some of the things that uh, AI, AI does. So, um, personal, electronics, uh, personal electronic devices or account uh, like uh, our phone or social media use uh, AI to learn more about us um, and the things that we like. Um, Netflix, of course, uh, use AI to understand what we like to watch and recommend other shows based on what they learn. Um, it can make video games also more challenging by studying how a player behave. Um, assistants, of course, like Alexa and Siri, also rely on it. AI in healthcare, healthcare sorry, can improve uh, patients, uh, patients' care and uh, as well as uh, research. It can be used in transportation, as we talked earlier, as we've, we've seen with the driverless cars and in aviation with the flight uh, simulators. Farmers are using AI to monitor crops and conditions and to make uh, predictions, which will help them to be more efficient. You only have to look at uh, what some of these uh, AI robots uh, can do now to see just how advanced the technology is. But um, we, um, new, with the new technology come always the fear uh, of job loss, safety, computation problems, as well as gender and racial bias. There are many incidences of AI adopting gender bias. So, what is gender bias? Well, to make it simple, gender bias is the tendency to prefer one gender over another. It occurs when individuals attribute certain attitudes and stereotypes to another person or group of people. In today's society, gender bias is often used to refer to the preferential treatment men receive, specifically white, heterosexual uh, male. As we know, bias is uh, prevalent in every aspect of our lives and in our society. However, biases can cause us to form prejudices against others, which allow for inequalities to form. So, what are the forms of gender bias in artificial intelligence? Well, um, we'll um, we, they are uh, in uh, several areas. Uh, there are some of example here. So, first, in a voices assistant like uh, Alexa, Siri, uh, Google, or Cortana, they are using uh, female names and voices by default. Uh, critics uh, label them as robots that represent itself as an obedient female, eager to carry out tasks and requests on its users' behalf, and therefore reproducing stereotypes on how women are seen in society. Another example is uh, in uh, recruitment uh, software. Uh, for example, Amazon, uh, their new uh, recruiting engine was not rating candidates for technical posts in a gender neutral way. The reason being that Amazon's computer models were trained to vet applicants by observing patterns in resumes submitted to the company over a 10 year period. And most resumes came from men, a reflection of male dominance across the tech industry. Gender bias is also in language software. So, um, system that, for example, gender bias in language software system were also demonstrating um, associating men with doctor 
and women with nurses. Concern has been raised about also the accuracy of algorithm and data gaps regarding healthcare. Uh, for example, as men are more susceptible to cardiac issues, the algorithm will focus on men's symptoms and not on women, which will exacerbate the problem of detecting women with heart disease. So, how does gender bias occur in AI? Well, the, even though it sounds like these machines are, have a mind on their own, AI is just the reflection of our decision and our behavior because the data we use to train AI is a representation of our experience, behaviors, and decisions as human. By feeding the machine data, it will be able to identify and make predictions on new unseen data based on what it recognized from the past and adopt uh, stereotypes very similar to our own. So why gender bias in AI? Well, as you can see in this group, the women in tech are still outnumbered. The five largest tech companies on the planet, which are Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, have a workplace, have a workforce of about 34% women, which is not enough. There is not enough women contributing, then there will be holes in the AI knowledge, and this is why bias error happens. Machine learning is of course led by human, which means their own bias will be incorporated within the AI system. There is also a lack of transparency from companies to reveal how the system make a data-driven decision due to intellectual property and market competition. And it's one of the main reasons why we don't have access to this knowledge and correct this problem. So, how can we resolve and overcome the gender bias in AI? Well, I think the main uh, way will be to uh, correct the data set used in training and testing system models and algorithms. So the data that informs algorithm, AI, and automation should be sex desegregated. We need to end the practice of making digital assistant female by default. We need to develop a neutral machine gender for boy assistant. We need to discourage gender-based insult and abusive language. Also, women should be active participants. Women should be part of all steps related to design, development, and application of AI and automation. We need to hire more women at all levels, and we need to engage gender experts and women organizations. Also, we need to, as the level of the education is very important, we need to encourage women and girls to enter STEM program so they can steer the creation of new technologies along alongside men. So why it is why is it so important? It is because we have seen earlier the potential of AI. New technologies give us a chance to start fresh and starting with AI, but it is up to people, not the machine, to remove bias. The public needs to have a clear understanding of what AI does so they stay engaged with its development and are able to hold developers accountable for creating the kind of AI that does more good than harm. And women, together with men, will play a large and critical role in shaping the future of bias-free AI world. So we need to be really um, involved, men, women, into the development of AI and its data. And I think that's the most important thing to uh, resolve the issue of gender bias in AI. I hope you like this presentation. And if you have any question, you can always contact me. And um, thank you so much for listening. Bye.